Hi all, welcome to the course on electrical system design. Today's topic is electrical installation for small industries. First we have to discuss about consideration regarding motor installation in an industry. Several factors need to be considered in order to properly install and wire an electric motor. A properly installed electric motor function correctly and safely for long time without introducing any problems into an existing electrical distribution system. The different factors are All equipment used in power wiring shall be of ironclad construction and wiring shall be of armored cable or conduit type according to IE rule 51. Woodwork shall not be used for mounting of switch gear. And second point is Looping of conductor and use of joints shall not be done. Length of flexible conduit used for connection between terminal boxes of motors and starters, switches and motors shall not exceed 1.25 meter. Every motor regardless of its size shall be provided with a switch fuse unit placed near it according to IE rule 50. In addition to switch fuse, all motors shall be provided with suitable means of starting and stopping placed at convenient places. Laying of conduit, sorry it is actually cable, laying of cable must be in separate conduit for separate motors. And current rating of cable may be based on full load current rating of motor and fuse rating is based on starting current. While deciding the current rating of the main switch controlling a group of motor, starting current of highest rated motor plus full load current of remaining motor shall be considered. And the frame of the motor shall be earthed by the owner by two separate and distinct connection of earth. The wire used to earthing conductor shall be of copper or galvanized iron and the, since supplier provides and maintains only a suitable earth terminal at or near the point of commencement of supply at the consumer premises the consumer required to provide his own earthing system with an independent electrode diagram represents simple arrangement of a motor circuit wiring from the supply we have main switch and fuse unit and here is our motor. Each motor is having a switch fuse unit and starter. Every motor must be controlled by an independent controlling unit. A three phase motor would need a triple pole switch with a fuse in each phase. In addition to this, a starter is required for starting and stopping. The size of switch fuse unit and the starter depends on rating of motor. Depending on the rating of motor, PVC cables of suitable size are used for wiring purpose. Generally, wires or cables are enclosed in a rigid heavy gauge conduit of suitable size. Flexible conduits may be used for connection from the motor switch to starter and from the starter to the motor terminals. The most important design consideration in an industry are motor rating, cable size, size of conduit, fuse rating, selection of main switch, distribution board specification and different types of starters. When the motor is first connected to the line, it will draw much more current than its rated current till the motor comes up to speed. And this current is called starting current. And as the motor reaches full speed delivering its rated horsepower at rated voltage, the motor carries full load current. And if the motor is overloaded, the current increases and it will cause overheat. If the overload is large, it will cause burnout. The current rating of cable for supply to motor may be based on normal full load current of the motor and the rating of the Fuse should be based on starting current. The size of cable depends on 
created current of motor and fuse rating depends on starting current of motor. While we are selecting size of conduit, we are considering three factors such as the number of cables to be installed, the cross-sectional area of cable and the permissible conduit field. The specification of distribution body is decided from the number of circuits to be fed from it. The voltage rating of the distribution body is decided by the voltage rating of the circuits which are fed from it and its current rating is the highest starting current of the circuit fed from it. The main switch has to control a group of motor. Its current rating should be equal to the starting current of the highest rating motor plus full load current of remaining motors. And different types of starters are used for different types of motor. For induction motors of capacity less than 5 HP, we are using direct online starter. And induction motors of capacity varies from 5 HP to 20 HP, we are using star delta starter. And motors of capacity greater than 20 HP, we are using auto transformer starter. And for slip ring induction motor, we use rotor resistant starters. Two point starters are used for DC series motor and three point starters are used for DC shunt or compound motors. That's all about design consideration in an industry. Thank you all.